some very important lessons in this video. I'm going to start with probably the number one rule in all of word processing. And a lot of people don't know this. When you're working in a word processor and you start typing the, at the beginning of your document, and let's say you have the title here, so you'll type whatever the type, title happens to be. And then if you want to get to your next line, of course, you would hit enter. But here's the mistake a lot of people make is they feel the need to center the title right now to make it bold, to make it underlined before they start typing the rest of your document. That's a huge mistake and it leads to more mistakes. You shouldn't be doing any formatting at all. None until you're done typing the entire document. The rule is make it, then make it pretty. You're going to have a better idea as to what you want to do once it's typed, first of all. Second of all, most of the great features in Microsoft Word were created so that you would do them after you've typed the document. You're going to learn tons of shortcuts, tricks that will enable you to take a bland looking document that you've typed in and make it look fantastic very quickly. These, none of these tools were intended to be used as you're typing. As a matter of fact, you're going to create more work for yourself if you start formatting as you're working. Let me demonstrate. If I were to take this title now and do things to it, make it centered, make it bold, make it bigger, make it red, okay? Nice big title, make it underlined, beautiful, right? Here's the problem. Word processes were designed that when you hit enter, you're going to get every single little formatting thing that you had in the prior paragraph following you or repeating itself. So when I hit enter now, I'm not getting a regular paragraph. I'm getting the same, which is not what I wanted. Most of the time, it's not what you wanted. It wasn't intended to work this way. Okay? And you don't want to go back and forth turning all this formatting off. You don't want to work that way. So what you should be doing is making it and then making it pretty. Throughout this course, every single exercise you're going to type in, I'm going to want and expect you to type it in, left aligned, no formatting, nothing. And I'll be walking around watching to make sure that you follow this simple little rule. Make it, then make it pretty. A couple of other basic things that you probably know. Uh, alignment. The standard is left aligned, okay? But if you wanted to change this to centered, you would go here. This is right. If you want something justified, I'll show you what justified means. Justified simply means, I'm just gonna remove the split window here. Justified takes a regular paragraph, such as this, and what it will do is it will make sure that all the letters start here on the left, but also end all the way to the right. So it actually increases the size of the spaces between your words. So I'm gonna to go to the home tab here. I'm gonna say for this paragraph, be justified. And you see how everything stretched out to the end? That's what justified means, and this is what left does. Okay, so left means flush on the left only. Justified means flush on both sides. I'll be asking you to justify several paragraphs throughout this course, just so that you know how to do that. Another basic thing uh, that you should know, but a lot of people don't really use this feature, myself included, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna start with a brand new document once again. And it always starts on the left and at the top. But if I wanted to center this right away, quickly, without having to ask for center, you have this feature called click and type. Now, if you look at your mouse, it's got an I beam and it's got the center symbol underneath it. It's telling you right now that if you double click, you will get a paragraph right there and it will be centered. If you wanted to leave some space from the top, you'd actually be able to come down a little bit further, double click, and you're automatically now starting here. If you turn on your show hide, you'll see that it has entered three blank paragraphs and it has centered this paragraph. It's not a feature I use very often, but I want you to know that it exists. It's called click and type, and you double click and you're able to move your insertion point pretty much anywhere that you want. Um, you probably know this, However, uh, it bears repeating. When you're starting a document, you should save it. You should save it before you even do any work to it. Saving it does two things. It gives it a place and it gives it a name. You're going to be saving into your M drive in my documents. It automatically goes there all the time, makes it very easy for you as a student to find all of your stuff. 
and I'll likely be telling you in the audio file what I want you to save it as. And then every five minutes, you should come back to this button and simply hit the button once, and that will save the changes. I won't ask you any questions, it won't prompt you with anything. What you're doing is you're backing up your work as you're going. Save early, save often. So the number one rule in word processing is make it, then make it pretty. However, one of the most important rules in all of computing is save early, save often.